Wow! <laughs> What's going on, guys? I hope they're having a great day out there guys we're down here at the motocross track um, looks like they've been doing a little bit of grooming down here some of it looks smoother they're getting ready for the memorial day weekend uh races down here but we brought along with us the techno et48 2.0 today i'm gonna run this thing on the ovonic 5300 milliamp 120c 6s lipo i also brought along with me the sledge we now have aluminum differential case a new diff in the back of this thing and went over the front replaced the front pit uh, ring gear i hopefully shield together we'll see <laughs> but Depending on if the techno breaks, you know, they might get their own videos or who knows what's gonna happen. But anyway, guys, we're gonna have some fun at the motocross track, so stay tuned, everybody. All right, everybody, we got the techno out here. It is a beautiful day out here. It's like 76, 77 degrees, blue skies. And uh, I brought the techno along because I'm hoping that this place isn't too much of a mess out here. I mean, some of it's definitely rough. <laughs> but the techno's got the track tires on it and uh, it doesn't handle the really rough stuff quite as well. But Anyway, we're going to go out here and give this thing some sends, have a little fun here, and uh, have a beautiful, long Memorial Day weekend. All right, we're going to see if we can jump it off this thing. I never... Wow! <laughs> thing shot it straight into the air. Techno handles so great. The air control on this thing and overall handling period of this thing is just amazing. Ooh! Ooh! Hard to pull backflips though with these tires, I'll tell you that. They do not have the air control like it does with the D-boots. <laughs> wow! Well, I caught the sweet spot of that jump. Woo! We're gonna do that again. Right, let's see if we can hit that spot again on this jump. Well, I think shot it real nice. Oh, no, nah, the shorter side. <laughs> that wall over there is like a sheer dirt wall. Definitely don't want to land it into that. Oh, the tech is going to be dirty after today. See, it struggles on the big chunks of dirt. Wow. I just barely saved that one, guys. That was a close one. That was a close one. I think it might be time to throw the four SLPs back on this thing for summertime. All right, we're gonna see what kind of run we can get in on the big jump here. It's been dodgy trying to find a clean line to come into this, but let's give it a try. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Guys, I know that might not look that impressive <laughs> on camera, but uh, that thing just flew like a rocket, man. Wow, she had some distance off of that one. That's out there hitting at 145, 145 area as far as distance wise. It's a good leap for the tech though. This thing has just been an awesome, awesome basher, guys. Put that front center brace in, um, in this thing, and it has just been, it has been killer on ramp bashes, <laughs> everything. Cannot beat the tech now. Woo! Just got a little bit of a kick off of that one. All depends on what part of this jump I hit. And the air control, like I said, with these tires is not there. Um, it definitely gets itself in danger a little easier. <laughs> Try this again. Well, that didn't sound good at all. Something... Man, she... Took a smack on the way in, and suddenly I heard gears. It sounded like grinding. Uh-oh. Well, guys, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I think I broke my center diff case. Um, it's wobbling around really bad in there. <laughs> ah, that's a first. But yeah, it's like, it sounds terrible as you guys can hear. But the whole case is just, you can see it here, maybe. It is just flopping around. I think I broke. Something definitely broke in that center diff. I'm gonna take it back to the truck here and see what we got going on. Well, after looking at it, it honestly looks like this front bearing in the diff either 
either that snapped off that front metal piece that the bearing rides on or the bearing exploded i'm not sure which one but either way it'll be a relatively easy fix but unfortunately from techno's done guys uh this thing was just flying amazing down here too well that's why i bring along a backup let's get the sledge out and see if she don't disappoint me hopefully <laughs> guys I, I can't make this up if i tried i just fired up the sledge here threw it on the ground went to take off and also it was acting really weird and look at this so now after replacing all that apparently something broke inside the motor during that bash too because my rear diffs were bad after that bash whenever i cussed this thing out but now smoke you pig <laughs> well now the sledge needs a motor um I i'm honestly kind of speechless at this moment um well guys this is going to turn into a short video um i might turn the last half of this video into repairing both of these turds well techno i won't call it turd that thing's been awesome this thing I i'm not even going to speak on it uh, but I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut this off now. And Boys and girls, well, bash time has turned into repair time. We're going to take a look at the techno here first and see what happened to this thing exactly. Or what happened to the center diff. Sorry if that's noisy, but we're going to get the immediate dust off this thing and let's see what's going on here. All right, now we get the screws out of this thing. Let's see what is going on exactly here. Oh, the bearing failed. Well... That's definitely a new one for this thing. Boy, she failed bad. Got her ring cracked and everything. Well, it's an easy enough fix, but unfortunately, I got to pull the gear off the diff here. The teeth got a little bit marked up, but they don't look too bad. So she's still good to run. But I'm going to put I'm going to put new bearings. I think on both sides here. Um, this one, this one still feels really good. I'm not sure why this one failed. I mean, it is on the gear side, so it's probably getting the most amount of stress, but. Going to open this thing up and change this bearing out. We got the diff open up here. Time to find a bearing. I'm sure, gonna have something in here that fits. I don't think bearings are supposed to be in that many pieces, but got a brandy new. Um, I'm not sure if these are fast ladies or what bearing these are, but they've been holding up really well. So, chuck a new bearing in this thing. She'll be ready to roll again. And she is in one piece again. You know, I'm sure many of you guys heard it when I was down there. As soon as I started driving this car, something sounded a little funny. I wasn't quite sure what it was or if it was just a mesh or if I had a bent drive shaft somewhere, but yeah, it turned out to be a bad bearing. But Let's go ahead and chuck this thing in here and she'll be finished up. And yes, guys, I always finish them off. I only get them down so far to tight and then stop with a screw gun. Too many times I stripped them off when I was first started with the drill and I've learned my lesson with going over them with a driver, hand driver, and then properly tightening them. <laughs> Strip that screws in up on it. She's butter smooth and sounds normal now. And now the front center dry shaft isn't bent. It's just got paint worn off everywhere. It makes it look funny, but she feels good now. Ready for another bash. Unfortunately, goofy little bearing cut that bash short because this thing was running awesome. But now I guess we'll open up the sledge, I guess. I'm going to pull off the side skirt here so I can get the motor out. And I'll let bring you guys back when I got the motor in hand and see what's going on here. Maybe we'll open it up and take a look and see what happened. And I'm sure it's no surprise, but man, this motor stinks. And it does have a bit of a flat spot on the back side, which was just from some of the really heavy landings on here. But man, <laughs> the stench coming out of this motor is nasty. Good grief. It looks like a bird's nest in here. I just pulled the back cap off of it. And those windings and everything on that centerpiece, I have a feeling, are really coming apart. But let's see if we can get this thing out of here. All right. Well, I'll bring you guys back when I get it out of there. Well, I got the center out of there, and it came apart in pieces. Um, the whole inside coils are just, I mean, they are torn apart. They are ripped up pretty bad. Um, I don't know what exactly happened. It was weird because the motor acted like it was turning, but there was absolutely nothing coming to the end of the shaft. Never honestly seen a motor do that. Usually they either lock up solid um, or just go up and smoke, but it was trying. I don't know. It was a bizarre <laughs> incident. But anyway, guys. I gotta look and see what motors I have that'll fit in here right now in this car's current state because obviously I have the motor in the forward position. So I gotta see if I have a motor um, that I could put in here and make it work for now. Oh, 
Well, my two choices is my Tekken Gen 3 motor or this, uh, what was this thing? I forget who made this. Um, oh, this is one of those Rocket 1700 KV motors. Now, the performance of that 1700 when I had it in here didn't blow my mind, but I also don't think I ever had it hooked up to the Max 6 ESC. And I really don't want to put this Tekken motor in the tracks. I mean, these are a really good motor. Um, I'd rather save it for something a little better. <laughs> so I think we're going to try the Rocket in here, guys, and see what happens. I might change my mind. Well, we're going with the Tekken motor, and for one main reason, um, the leads are longer. <laughs> I don't feel like having to cut these down and relengthen them in order to reach the ESC. The Tekens I have on here are long enough, so we're going to go with this motor and see how this thing is in this car. I might hate it. I might love it. We'll find out. All right. We got the motor in there. Everything fit up nicely. The leads look great. Might zip tie them to the center brace, but I had to go with my programming card and reverse the motor so that it was actually going forward because the Tekken motor had it reversed. But let's go ahead and get everything finished up here. We'll take it out in the parking lot for just a second and rip this motor around and see if it's going to be any good. All right. We got the sledge out here. See what, the, see what this motor feels like. Definitely feels very snappy. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, this motor's got a lot of snap to it. <laughs> I think I might act. Well, she's definitely uh, moving probably now. I don't know what exactly went apart on that old motor, but I think I'm gonna like this Tekken in here. It seems to be running. Sorry guys, I have the camera on a tripod just because I'm trying to drive it. All right. All right guys, well, Tekken motor sounds great. It feels like it's got plenty of torque um, and I went up two more teeth also on the pinion. I went from an 18 to a 22, so she should have a little more top speed. And I got the drivetrain on this thing. It's super smooth. And the other my tire being off balance a little bit. I mean, the whole drivetrain sounds super smooth and quiet now. So here's keeping our fingers crossed that uh, stays together for a whole bash next time. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed the little bash video and repair video. Had some fun down the motocross track until some early unfortunate breakages, but Got them all fixed up and ready to roll and ready for the next one. But that's going to do it for today. So until next time, y'all be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.